Meanwhile, in Washington, after essentially brushing off North Korea's recent short range missile launches as a no big deal, U.S. President Donald Trump is once again touting his good personal relationship with the regime's leader, Kim Jong un. He also urged the American people to see what happens with North Korea in the coming months and years. But it should be noted his remarks happened prior to this morning's projectiles launched by North Korea. Our Kim Hyo-sun has more on chummy comments from the U.S. President. President Trump is again emphasizing his close relationship with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, adding we will see what happens with the regime. Speaking to reporters at the White House on Tuesday, Trump said his relationship with Kim is, quote, a very good one. He also said he can't speak in detail about what is going to happen. Referring to former Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, President Trump said if she had won the 2016 election, the U.S. would be in a major war with the North right now. The comments come after Pyongyang fired two short-range ballistic missiles last week, after which Trump insisted he was not at all alarmed by the move. Meanwhile, it has emerged that an official at the White House National Security Council traveled to the DMZ last week to deliver photos to the North of the June 30th encounter between Kim and Trump at the inter-Korean border. According to Reuters, a North Korean official also says working-level denuclearization talks between the two sides will start very soon. The news agency also reported the two parties may have already discussed detailed measures to revive talks at the working level. Kim Hyo-sun, Arirang News.